All right, you know the truth? I don't even know how to start that. So, I had, about two years ago, veteran's point of view, where I used to discuss things that were going on in the world, with my point of view of a veteran. Now, again, remember, my point of view does not mean that it's the point of view of every single veteran out there, okay? And I decided to bring this show back, and it's basically because someone has to. You look at what is going on in the world right now. It's I also understand that today, as you guys saw in the thumbnail, we're going to be talking about politics. Mostly because the election that is going on tomorrow in the United States. But if you're not from the United States, understand this. The, issue we, the issues we're going to talk to uh, today actually has to do with everywhere in the world. Okay. So, well, what can I say? Welcome to the veteran's point of view on b and Alright, so, why am I just coming with this video today when I should, when I had planned to do that for days already? So, there's one major issue today, I mean, in the world today, and it's people are not allowed to have an opinion unless their opinion goes with other people's opinions. <laughs> what is pretty much stupid, but I'll give an example. So, months ago, I, I, I actually posted something on Facebook and I had some people actually close to me, uh, not just people close to me, but people in general. Just assuming that my opinion had everything to do with politics, even if I wasn't mentioning any parties, if I wasn't mentioning anything to do with the government. But people are seeing politics in everything people say. So while I am not going to take one side or another in this episode, I know a lot of people are gonna have issues. So if that's you, and you have a tiny little heart, and you cannot try to listen first and make your opinions after, well, I'm sorry for you. And plus, I'm not in the army anymore, so I can say a lot of people have tiny little freaking hearts, and that's the biggest problem in the world right now. So, and by the way, I say so a lot, and it has to do with my anxiety, PTSD, so it's like that moment where I just pause and I think about what the f I'm gonna say. All right, so if you can bear with me, thank you. So tomorrow, we all gonna be choosing the next president of the United States or the same president. Now, I think my biggest fear is it really does not matter who's gonna win tomorrow. There will be almost a revolution in the United States. And because if you look at what is going on this year alone in the last couple of years, yeah, we're living like this. And you probably think, well, no, but that's, uh, let me say, how some people say, the orange man's fault. Or, oh no, it's, it's the left fault, right? It's always someone's fault. Now, the reason for that to be going on is the same reason that it's going on in Brazil where I'm goddamn stuck right now. So, we, uh, Brazil's having the same goddamn issue. And it's because there was a time back when my generation was ruling the world, oh, we still rule the world, we just kind of hide. But, so, when my generation was younger, so we are pretty much like, uh, okay, there's left and there's right, but we try to stay around the middle. I myself am someone that I don't have a party. If uh, President A sound, looks better for me, I'll vote for him. If President B looks better for me, I'll just vote for him. I really don't care if that's a Republican or the other guy, you know? It doesn't matter. Now, today, people are pretty much all the way on the left for all the way on the right. 
and there's a whole gap in the middle. So I know some of you may be saying, well, no, that's not true. If uh, we had a good president, and again, I'm talking about the world right now, okay? I just the United States. If we were going to have a good president, I wouldn't be feeling this way. If the president was a Republican, but he was a good president, oh, I would side with him. Bull it's bull because, again, Europe's going through that. Brazil is going through that. The United States is going through that. The world is pretty much sitting in a pile. Okay, so why am I ranting? Why am I discussing that? Why am I going so deep into how bad things are? Today we live in a world that if you have the wrong opinion, you can get murdered on the street. I mean, hey, look at the numbers. 21% more murders this year alone than the years before. We're f And believe it or not, a lot of those have to do with politics. A lot of people are getting into arguments about politics and pulling a gun and killing the other guy. And I mean, if you're a Democrat, you're probably going to say that it's the, the problem are the Republicans that carry guns everywhere. Well, I know a few cases that Republicans kill Democrats and some other case that Democrats kill Republicans. So, no, it's a problem we're having today. Brazil, elections a couple of years back, a lot of murders because of arguments on politics. So, we're seeing that. I am scared that tomorrow you're gonna turn on the news and what I'm gonna see is like, People going to peacefully vote, uh, fill up their ballots, do what they're supposed to do as Americans, and they're gonna get gunned down. And it doesn't matter what party they gonna vote for. I mean, we have this case about the girl who, six sisters, their dad is about to die any day. And she made a TikTok video talking about how, you know, my dad's about to die, so me and my sisters made sure to make the last day of his life miserable because he wasn't going to vote for the candidate we want to win. The guy is dying. And if you think that politics is more important than the person who brought you up, sent you to college, took care of you when you're sick as a kid. You're a sick individual, okay? So, with that said, tomorrow, y'all gonna go vote. If you didn't vote, you know, by mail and all that stuff. Do yourself a favor. I, I know when I say it doesn't matter who wins, people are going to go, oh, well, no, it does matter who wins. It doesn't matter. The guy is going to be there for four years. It may not be your choice, but it was a choice of the country. And honestly, you're going to affect your life much more if you get in a fight, if you end up killing someone just because he disagrees with you, you're gonna mess your life much more than any president will be able to do in four goddamn years. I know you're all gonna have opinions. If you disagree with me, hey, if you think, no, dude, we need to start a revolution. If most countries think that President A should win, we need to start a revolution. Or if you do the same for a president, be it doesn't matter. You probably eat crayons and you should join the Marines. I'm just saying, I was Army, I was smart, see? But do vote, 
do help make a good choice, but don't vote for someone just because, oh, I'm a Republican and I gotta vote for Trump. Oh, I'm a Democrat. I gotta vote for Biden. Vote for who you think is best for you and your country, okay? And I don't care who that person is. The only thing I can do is hope that that person is going to do the best for the country. The only thing I can say is I hope the best for you guys. Make good choices. Someone say stupid to you tomorrow when you're going to vote. Hey man, just leave him. Now, I know you want to show support for whoever you want to vote. If you have a head that says Biden, or if you have a head that says Trump, not for you, maybe for your family, don't wear that. It's sad to say because I think you have the right to do it, but don't. Because you will find someone that gonna take that as a personal affront to their right. But I know it makes no sense. But just to lower the stress, and also with everything that is already going on in the world, do the right thing tomorrow. And most if you go with your family, hey, keep that clean. Don't wear anything that's gonna bring attention to yourself. If not for you, for them. Okay? Try to be civil. Try to be the best and just accept everybody's choice. I will be coming with a veteran's point of view every week. I'll probably plan better. What I'm gonna say, uh, I think that was extremely hard to talk about politics today because I know YouTube gonna hate me. There will be at least someone close to me that will hate me because Probably something I said meant I was in one side or another. I don't care. Or better. I don't give a So, weekly, I'll be here. This is your boy, Rusian, or Sar Fernandez, or Sar Fern, or Buddy. This is a veteran's point of view. And I hope to see you guys next week. Take care.